started with our batteries. So our batteries are all wired up and uh, we did add uh, these things called max D sulfators to each battery and I'll show you it in just a second here. Uh, again, we wired up four batteries in series and then we're going to wire those two series together. So we give us a 24 volt, 890 amp hour battery bank. Now because these are uh, flooded batteries, we're only going to be able to get 50% of the depth of discharge, but that's okay. It gives us 445 amp hours of, uh, of usage. So we're pretty happy with it. We may want to grow this at some point, but um, I think for this first year, uh, based on our calculations, this gives us about four days of autonomy, I think, three or four days. So we'll see how it works out. So we, again, these are the desulfators. Uh, you can see they've got these little blue lights on the bottom. I'll tell you that they are on. Um, and basically, you, uh, we wired these up to each battery, negative to positive, all the way down. Um, so these four batteries here, one, two, three, four, are all in series. And then this negative will attach to this negative, which is attached to that battery down there, and which is the second string. And then this positive is attached to this positive, which will then, this positive will attach to the uh, positive that comes in from the uh, inverter. And then this negative, along with this negative, will attach to the negative going into the inverter. So those wires will come out here. I'm not ready yet to plug this, plug those on. I still have some wiring to do uh, in the box. Uh, inside the house and the inverter um, but when we're ready we've got all of our hardware set up so the next thing we're going to improve on is this lid this roof uh, originally we thought maybe just a flat roof but uh, we've decided to uh, get rid of this we're going to lift up the one end Get a nice lean to on it um, and let the roof actually turn the roof the other direction so snow and water run off of it. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to Go ahead and remove this plastic and we're going to put some roofing paper on it. Have you ever had a project that you got started on and uh, before you knew it, it had manifested into something completely different? Well, that's exactly what happened here. So I started uh, with uh, working on the uh, roof for the battery box and I thought it was going to be a simple, you know, couple pieces of wood and it was not that. Uh, it became much bigger than that because I realized that the way I had built it was just crappy. And so um, we made some enhan enhancements and some improvements, which is exactly what we had intended to do anyways. Uh, so uh, let's take a look at it.
Okay, so here is our new and improved roof for the uh, battery by bank box. Uh, if you remember, it was real flat, and, and now we've got a little bit of a tilt to it. We got a little bit of overhang on the top and the bottom. We did two inches on the top, two inches on the bottom, and I think I got two inches on the, on the two sides. So, um, yeah, let's take a look inside. It's heavier, much heavier now than it was um, because uh, a couple things I did is the insulation, I had actually had it the other way, so the in fiberglass insulation was actually hanging down. Um, I also, uh, I needed, in order to uh, get the height that I needed in the back using the original frame, I needed to add some one by ones along with these uprights um, and so by doing so it gave me the ability to take that insulation out turn it around so now I have the paper on this side which is better than having the the fiberglass so um, the other thing that I did is I added a deck uh, so this is hemlock these are hemlock uh, boards uh, six feet just over six feet long um, that I had for another project, but uh, I figured I was going to need them for this anyway, so I went ahead and, and, and stole them from that other project's pile. But it uh, works out great uh, with the board, flipping the uh, insulation, adding these little one-by-ones in here, um, and then also I got rid of the plastic and went to the uh, roofing paper. Overall, I think it's a much better design. Uh, like I said, it is very heavy though, uh, just as everything is <laughs> with this project. Um, but the main thing is it's going to keep this thing uh, warm in the winter time and cool in the summertime, and that is exactly what we, we intended to do. So in my opinion, other than painting the sides, which we'll do on another day, uh, this project is done. Um, I'm happy with it. It's much better. Uh, we've got all of the wiring done in here. So the next step uh, to this whole uh, much bigger project is to start working on the wiring inside again. So hi, Tisunka. What is it? Are you here? Go get her. Go. And they're off. So we have eight batteries. Uh, they are six volt, 445 amp hour batteries. And we have them wired four in series and then in parallel. So we have four series, four series, then they're running parallel. Uh, and they are connected to the inverter on the other side of the wall in the cabin. Uh, in addition, we also have these max desulfators. Uh, and we have one on each battery, and those are going to help with the uh, longevity uh, of the battery life. Um, and then we have two, uh, two sensors in here uh, for temperature. We have one sensor, which is on this blue cable, which is actually affixed to this battery. Uh, and then we have this other cable here that is affixed to the battery terminal. Uh, this blue one here goes to our charge controller. This gray one is going to the inverter. And they're basically just uh, um, measuring the temperature of the batteries uh, to prevent any overcharge or, or any damage to the batteries if they get overheated. So um, everything seems to be working fine. So we are going to go ahead and put the lid on this. And uh, that'll be it. So... We have everything plugged in, hopefully correct. And so we're gonna very slowly <laughs> turn these things on. So first thing we're gonna turn on is our DC power. And that is turning on our charge controller, but we're not actually charging yet. So batteries are reading 25.4 volts. 
And now we're going to turn our PV on, which is our solar array, which is uh, the way it's wired is uh, 80 volts, 1200 watts, something like that. And so what we should be seeing here in just a second is the system charging. And so now we're charging at 72 volts, about 962 watts at 36.5 amps. So now we're taking power of the sun and we are charging our batteries, which is great because uh, it's just great. Okay, so now the next thing, and this is the one that I've been mostly kind of, um, eh, not concerned, just, just worried about is making sure I had all the DC stuff hooked up properly for our inverter. So we're going to flip the switch and then we're going to make sure it turns on and everything works. Okay, so... We're waiting for our so we pick our settings okay so now our battery right now is showing about halfway full so we're showing at 26.6 volts 26.5 volts we do have some, um, we do have some charging to do. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, everything looks like it's supposed to be looking like. So anything we need to do now is hit this inverter enable, which should turn this on and then give us power at our box. And we have a we have 240 output broken into two legs, so we've got 110 on one side, 110 on the other. So we're gonna do it. So inverter is enabled, and I can hear it. So now the big thing here. to see if we get 120 on each leg. So here we go. Leg one, we got 119. Leg two, we have 119. Okay, so that means that The system is working. <laughs> it means the system is working. It means that uh, I wired everything correctly. Um, so the wires, we're going to fix all that later. Um, I can't believe we're, we're, we're running. And we're still charging. It's 72.8 volts, 946 watts. 34.8 amps. That's huge. That's, that's huge for us. Um, okay, so the next step right now is uh, to get everything kind of get the panel on and then shut the system off. Uh, and we're going to wire in a couple of breakers and uh, some, some outlets. And then uh, one step closer to moving in here. I mean, that's been the big goal is, is getting us in here. But couple of things had to happen. Number one, we needed power here uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, obviously we wanted power here, but uh, more importantly, you know, we're, the, we've been running our gas generator and the little 400 watt Harbor Freight system. Um, it just, it hasn't been cut. It just hasn't been cutting it. So having this system now should take care of all of our power needs um, 24 hours a day. Uh, 
but the other thing we needed to get done in here is you know when we talked about the cabin you know what you see here is some plastic that's on our on some insulation we had to get this wall prepped and ready so i could build this but we've got to do this so the rest of the other both cabins um and once that's done we can officially move in here and uh we you know so and get out of that small cabin we're in so anyways uh thanks for watching everybody um this has been a this has been a real pain in the butt doing this system um but uh but it, it's it's running it's working and that's all that matters so um if you haven't hit that uh, like button yet do that if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell for notifications uh, we are trying to put out videos a few times a week um and so uh you know we're we're, we're trying to do the best we can to, to give you guys some content you enjoy um and uh so yeah thanks god bless you we'll see you in the next video